praise the lord today is yet another day we have met we thank god for how god is uh, giving us the opportunity to also be here to to teach the word of god uh before i move on i would like to thank uh, the person i work with also helping to uh, bring this teaching to you as uh, the person of Dr. Faith have been giving us the Bhagavad song, helping us to get from the Bhagavad song to uh, help the message. Also, I would like to thank each and every one of you for your support, for uh, listening to the word of God, for sharing, for commenting, for watching. God bless you so much. And I urge you all to uh, continue watching, listen to the, the word of God and not only listen to it but being a doer of it and read your bible also please let us continue to watch share comment and uh help others to also benefit from what we are benefiting thank you so much my name is dr william before we move on to today's episode let's have a word of prayer thank you so much god for another day you have given unto us we are calling upon you once again our maker that you visit us you speak to us give us an understanding that we can understand your word give us what you have for us oh lord jesus now we pray amen amen so today without wasting my time today we are going to look at bible doctrine 19 that is episode 19 which is christ millennium reign christ millennium reign and I, as i said in our uh, episode 18 that the millennial reign will take charge of what 1000 years 1000 years christ what millennial reign said so the word of god teaches us that christ millennial reign is the 1000 years literal reign of jesus on earth jesus will come to this earth to reign for 1000 years which will be ushered in by the coming of christ back to the earth with 10,000 of his saints with 10,000 of his saints at this time he will judge the nation that dwell upon the face of the earth let's look at that one in Jude at that time God will judge the nation that dwell on the face of what on the earth let's look at Jude Jude have only one uh, chapter so Jude 1 verse 14 and 15 said and Enoch also the servant from Adam prophesied of this, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to, uh, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deals which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him praise the lord so for god purpose of coming another one is what to come out execute judgment upon the ungodly who are the ungodly satan and all mankind who refuse to accept christ as their lord and personal savior and die in their sin or remain in their sin to jesus what comes they are the what ungodly people let's move on um let's look at another thing at um second thessalonian after or so ever that would takes place on this earth has been what prophesied in the word in the bible that we need to read our bible so that we will know what god have for us second thessalonian chapter 1 verse 7 to 10 it said and to you who are troubled rest with us when the lord jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels verse 8 in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not god and that obey not the gospel of our lord jesus christ hallelujah god will bring his word vengeance upon them that would do not accept him and accept his word that is why we are here telling you that we should what assert the word of god assert christ as our lord and personal savior and obey his commandment and do his will verse 9 
who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. You he, he hear that people saying God is no wicked that man, mankind that he has created, he will destroy him. Over here he is telling us, that is why he is telling us to what over to uh, respect and obey his commandment, accept him as our Lord what, and personal savior. It's like a parent, if you are a child and you disobey your parent, you go against the rules of your parent. You see, your parent might what, disown you because so you don't go by their rules. You disrespect them every day, give them problems and what here and there. They might what disown him. The same thing as what Christ. He has laid down the principle that we should follow. So if you don't accept him as his Lord and personal savior and what obey his commandment and do his will and get away, separate yourself from the things of the world and repent from your sin, you what put into everlasting destruction. Verse 10. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admire in all them that believe because our testimony among you was believed in that day hallelujah if that word will accept god and do his will you would rejoice at that day during this time the devil will be bound as i said in what um episode 18 during that at uh, this time the devil what will be bound and put in the word bottomless what pit for that what thousand years you can find that one in revelation chapter 20 verse 2 and 3 it will be a reign of peace and blessing hallelujah that t- uh, thousand years reign it will be a reign of what peace and what blessing the people the believers who stood fast irrespective of the persecution that will come that came to them they stood and obeyed the word of god and never went back to the word and remain in what in his glory that day they shall what rejoice because it's a peaceful day for them hallelujah in Isaiah, let's look at something at Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 11 verse 6 to 9 Isaiah 11 verse 6 to 9 Isaiah 11 verse 6 to 9 he said the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall shall lie down with the kid and the cave that's the young lion and the fat and the fatling together and a little child shall lay them verse 7 and the cow and the bear shall feed the young ones shall lie down together and the lion shall eat strip like the ox verse 8 and the second child shall play on the hole of the apps and the winged child shall put his hand on the crocodile uh, verse 9 they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the lord as the waters cover the sea hallelujah over here i uh, was describing how the millennial rain world will occur at that time no lion no crocodile will harm anybody will be uh, a place of what peace and what enjoy children and everybody will be playing with these uh, white animals and they will never what hurt them hallelujah let's look at something here let's look at the components of the millennial reign the component of the millennial reign the first component is the millennial reign shall witness all unprecedented era nations sorry national and individual what peace one is what all the nations what shall what shall witness the unpresented what, peace that God what Jesus Christ will bring. There will be a complete section of the score the score of war as the kingdoms of the world will be fused together under the reign of what Jesus Christ. All the kingdoms of the world will be or would be fused together, will be emerged together to become what one what one 
kingdom hallelujah and that our king shall be what jesus christ I mean the whole world what will become one there will not be no more this is african this is asia this is america no it shall all become what one the ensuring peace will hurt an era of economic boom and prosperity the beauty of his age is the hatred antagonistic and in recognizable fields will henceforth cohabit as sheep and the lamb the second component is there will be joy unspeakable hallelujah there will be what there will be joy full of joy people will be happy joy what overtake what the whole what the whole land because our king of peace is what is here you can see that one in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 3 and 4 Isaiah 9 verse 3 and 4 that is have to read your Bible Isaiah 9 verse 3 verse 3 and 4 said thou had multiplied the nation and not increased the joy they they joy before thee according to the joy in harvest and as men rejoice when they divide so when they divide their spur verse 4 for thou hast broken the yoke of the burden and the staff of his shoulders the rod of his oppressor as in the day of median hallelujah the yoke of the burden what will be broken at that time will be full of joy the third component is there will be holiness hallelujah there will be no more what sin at that what time the reign of jesus christ there will be no more sin there will be what forward holiness on what on the earth you can find that one in ezekiel ezekiel chapter 43 verse 7 to 12 quickly let's look at ezekiel chapter 43 verse 7 to 12 he said and he said unto me son of man the place of my throne and the place of the so the soles of my feet where i will dwell in the midst of the children of israel forever and my holy name shall be house of israel no more defile neither they nor their kings by their wedom nor by their cases of their kings in their high places verse 8 in their sitting of their threshold by my threshold and they are post my post and the war between men and them they have even defiled my holy name by their abominations that they have committed wherefore i have consumed them in my anger hallelujah verse 9 now let them put away their wedom and the cases of their kings far from me and i will dwell in the midst of them forever hallelujah thou son of man show the house to the house of israel that they may they may be ashamed of their iniquities and let them measure the pattern verse 11 and if they be ashamed of all that they have done show me for the form of the house and the function thereof and the going out thereof and the coming in thereof and all the forms therefore and all the ordinance thereof and all the forms thereof and all the laws thereof and breathe and write it in their sight that they may keep the whole form thereof and all the ordinance thereof and do them verse 12 this is the law of the house upon the top of the mountain the the whole limit thereof round about shall be most holy both sorry behold this is the law of the house hallelujah over here ezekiel was what telling us how the, the millennial reign what will be they shall be what holiness on the land verse 4 so number 4 there will be what glory hallelujah there shall be glory on the land because of our time so you can find that one in isaiah chapter 24 verse 23 and isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 to 9 you can find that one there uh, number five there will be comfort hallelujah christ what will comfort us that one is in isaiah 12 verse 1 and 2 isaiah 12 verse 1 and 2 
they shall be justice hallelujah they shall be what justice there will be no what injustice over there there shall be what justice number seven full knowledge there will be what full knowledge or not on the land during what christ what millennium reign in addition the following benefit will also occur to what inhabitant of the age the first one is what there will be what original case place listen the original case praise on my kind after the fall will be what removed all cases that was what will praise upon my kind like you will suffer before what you eat that's the case that god plays what on man a, a, a woman shall what suffer before she would put in labor all those cases what will be removed at that what at that time Resulting in abundant productivity of the earth. There will be what abundance of productivity on this what earth. Number two, sickness will become a thing of the past. There will be no what sickness done what Christ what millennial reign. Number three, healing will be naturally what available to the deformed to the deformed. Hallelujah. The word healing. It will be what abundant. So, what are you waiting for? Do you want to cast into the everlasting fire so that you will be tormented forever, or you want to enjoy Christ's millennial reign with this word, whole benefit that Christ what has laid down for us? Furthermore, against the background of the above, there shall be one preservation of life. The word preservation of life. Let me read this one in Isaiah 40. Isaiah 41 verse 8. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 41 verses 8 to 14. He said, But thou, Israel, art my servant Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, thou whom I have taken from the end of the earth, and shall thou and shall thee from the chief men thereof. And said unto me, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Hallelujah. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Hallelujah. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee. Amen. With the right hand of my righteousness. Verse 11. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and com- confounded. They shall be nothing. There shall be nothing, and they and they that strive with thee shall perish. Hallelujah. Verse twelve. Thou shalt seek them, and thou shalt not find. They will seek you, and not, they will not find you. Even them that contended with thee, they shall war against thee shall be as nothing and as a nothing as a thing of what of the north hallelujah these are some of the benefit that what god will give you to us what are you waiting for my sister what are you waiting for my brother repent now so that we can enjoy this what great what benefit number three so number two complete freedom from all forms of oppression that revenge mankind to at present the word there will be a complete word freedom will be freedom from all these what problems we are facing financial problem uh, uh education uh prosperity wealth money all these things there will be a freedom from all these things last one before i bring today episode to an end say who are those expected to partake in christ millennial reign those who are expected to be partake of Christ's millennial what reign one the glorious church hallelujah the glorious church are what expected to be to be what partaker of what Christ's millennial what reign Ephesians chapter Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 to 27 Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 to 27 he said husband love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. You know, when God said, husband, love your wife, even as Christ loved the church, you know, many husbands today, many men today do not understand this. Do you know how it takes to love your wife as Christ loved the church? Look at the love that 
Christ demonstrated to the church to the extent that he laid down his life for what for the church there are so many husbands now that when right now when they see their wife going astray when they are seeing their wife doing things that what is they don't like they become fed up they don't have patience no more and they leave their wife they divorce their wife for another woman Christ is saying that love your wife it is in your capacity capacity to what make sure that your wife is at the right what path when a husband that love his wife as Christ loved the church will go as extra mile to make sure that his wife is what on the right what path verse 27 Sorry, verse 26 that he might sanctify and cleanse with the washing of water by the word verse 27 that he might present it to himself a glorious church not having spots or wrinkle or any such things but that it should be holy and without blemish hallelujah so how Christ those that are expected to what uh, to enjoy the millennial reign are uh, the glorious what uh, church this will exclude the the apostate church that is married to the word uh, to the word churches that are married to the word when you talk of the churches that are married to the word means churches that what that are involved in the word the things of the word that does not preach against what sin that does not rebook sin when they see members when they see fellow uh, leaders in sin backsliding they don't want to rebook them but they allow them to continue in their sin all those people will be what will be cast out let's look at something at our uh, so uh, before I bring today episode to an end, the third one, those that what are expected to be part of what Christ will learn and what the poor in spirit, the poor in spirit, as Christ said in Matthew chapter five, Matthew chapter five verse three, said, "Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven." These are those who recognize and admit their state of spiritual poverty life on earth without assurance of what salvation and are willing to turn away from sin and surrender to christ the watchful the watchful and prayerful we have to what we have to what, be watchful and prayerful and pray because the our adversary what satan is what is at hand deceiving many a christian which is not praying is rather what playing if you are not praying, you are rather what playing. The one that you are fighting with is full of what, full of evil spirits uh, around him. That is why you have to pray. Our key uh, for believers, for Christians, our weapon is what prayer and what our Bible. Read our Bible. We know the way, so that when the temptation comes, we can we can use the knowledge that we have acquired in the Bible and, and rebook it, so that when Christ comes, when the temptation comes, we can overcome it and be continue in what in our salvation in our righteousness god bless you so much for today episode god bless you for your wonderful time devoted to listen to the word of god god bless you so much another time we shall meet for the next episode episode 20 god bless you my name is dr william another thanks goes to dr Fee for the wonderful song god bless you all bye bye